So my name is Federico Berardello, and I'm the founder and CEO of Finalis. And before getting into the company story, I just wanted to thank Zach and Elizabeth for hosting this incredibly meaningful forum. You know, I'm a Marin County native. I was raised in uh, Tiburon and went to Del Mar Middle School and Redwood High School in Larkspur. And I think it's fair to say that in my lifetime, I haven't seen as meaningful an initiative to stimulate uh, collaboration and community within the private sector uh, until MSIV and this uh, North Bay Next Forum came along. So thanks to you, Zach, and to Elizabeth for the initiative. Uh, Finalis is a, also a proud uh, portfolio company of MSIV. So uh, before getting into the company story, I just wanted to do a quick show of hands. Raise your hand if you've ever been involved in any way in a merger and acquisition transaction or a capital raise. That's a lot of hands. Now, keep your hand raised if that transaction involved an investment banker, M&A advisor, or business broker. Okay, we see a number of hands up. Okay, thank you very much. I'll get into the company story now. You know, my background was uh, I'm a recovering Kirkland & Ellis deal attorney. Spent a number of years in the San Francisco office of the firm doing middle market technology company buyouts for many of the private equity funds or the preeminent private equity funds of the San Francisco Bay Area. Funds like Vista, Silver Lake, Francisco, Golden Gate, Huntsman Gate, TA Associates, and others. And one of the things I realized over the course of my time at the firm was that my career was really circling around this central irony, which was how can it be that we're working on some of the most interesting tech buyouts in the country, and yet the software that those of us that are actually working on the deal are using is 30 years old. It's all legacy software. The Microsoft Office suite, thousands of process, e process emails sent and received on a, any given transaction. And so I left the firm in the summer of 2017 to try and do something about it. And starting out, we really had to answer a threshold question, which was, where do you start? Because if you're working on an M&A transaction or a capital raise, particularly a larger one, you'll find that there's a lot of cooks in that kitchen. Right? You have the buy side, the sell side, and a number of professional advisors supporting each side of that transaction. And early on, we developed a real conviction around the fact that this digital transformation journey, if you wanted to make the deal execution process more efficient, you really needed to begin that journey within the sell side investment bank. And the reason why that's the case is because the potential deal is born within the investment bank. The moment that that investment bank signs up an engagement letter with their client saying that they're going to support their client, which could be the corporate that's raising uh, their next round of funding or is seeking an exit. And when we started to study the pain points that that investment bank or banker were having, we discovered a universe of opportunity for digital transformation. Because something very interesting is happening in the investment banking space. This is an industry that continues to grow in size to about 300 billion by 2025 in terms of the amount of brokerage commissions that are actually earned by the banks. And yet the driver of that growth isn't growth within the large investment banks like Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan. It's actually growth in the so-called long tail of investment banks. Everything from a one-person shop operating out of their home office to a 50 or 100-person operation in midtown Manhattan and everything in between. In fact, that long tail of the industry is close to representing about 40% of overall commissions earned by investment banks globally. And that presents a tremendous opportunity because when we actually study what those pain points are, we discovered a universe of opportunity for digital transformation. A lot of time wasted on low uh, value process tasks, hundreds of thousand dollars a year spent on regulatory, a lot of time consumed and wasted in terms of trying to generate new leads, and a lot of opportunity cost loss in terms of that business. And in fact, the growth of the long tail in many ways is representative of what's happening across professional services, where people are no longer necessarily working for organizations and serving the interests of that organization, but rather people actually have organizations that serve their interests. And we are observing that through Finalis, which is a first of its kind uh, broker-dealer platform and technology enablement platform that delivers not just the regulatory and compliance back office for investment banks globally, 
but also delivers a software solution that makes them more productive, and in doing so, has also created a deal marketplace, uh, which I'm proud to say has recently reached 1,000 active transactions. Those are middle market M&A and capital raise transactions that in the aggregate are worth about $75 billion in total aggregate deal potential. And the way that we're monetizing this is not just through selling a regulatory and compliance solution to those small investment banks, which is the one thing that they have to have, but it's also growing that revenue by delivering additional enabling value around the deals themselves as their own atomic unit of value, where we're delivering deal origination, execution, distribution and syndication solutions to those bankers. And in doing so, we're effectively reverse engineering the model that Goldman Sachs has enjoyed over 100 years, which is the notion of, you know, how are you going to earn additional value on the basis of, you know, effectively connecting the capital seeker to uh, the capital provider. We've grown a lot since we launched into market in May of 2020. I think in many ways COVID was an accelerator to this trend of uh, people having organizations work for them as opposed to people working for organizations. Uh, and the revenue model is mixed. We generate both subscription revenue uh, as well as commission revenue. So we earn a monthly subscription fee per banker per month. And in addition to that, we also earn a percentage fee on the value of the success fees that are earned by the banker upon close of transaction. It's a very exciting growth story. We have about 190 investment banks on the platform today, and as I mentioned, about 1,000 active ma mandates in market.